EJ, how are you? Great, how are you? I am doing great. Uh, by the way, I loved with love. Uh, oh, and now, so, like right after that, now Proud Family, here you are. What is it like to step into the world of Proud Family and into the shoes of Phil Lamar? Um, it's been amazing. Um, it's been great. You know, I was a fan as a kid growing up watching it when I was like eight or nine to mm-hmm. like now being a part of it. And um, just like, I love how much the show has changed and like how much like, you know, how much room that we have to play and stories we get to tell, you know, like uh, this character could definitely not have existed, you know, back in, oh, four or five or whenever it was first, you know, <laughs> out. And now that, you know, we have this character who is, you know, just living un- unapologetically and fabulously and free and, and um, fearlessly, it's just beautiful to watch. Um, and also just even more fun for me to be a part of and, and give it give it life. Um, but yeah, I just like, I love all of the whole experience, everything. I love that. Now, is this your first time doing voice acting? Yes. And so how do you, how do you find that experience to be different? And then how do you specifically find the right voice or headspace for Michael? Um, well, it, I don't really find it difficult at all. You know, like for me, it's like funny because like I, I was telling another person who would interview me that like, you know, one of my earliest memories of acting was, you know, just mimicking my mom mm. and her friends or people I would see on TV and, you know, just like, and just would keep with the voice for like hours. Or like, you know, when I was watching all my favorite um, fairy tales, um, I was always a fan of like, I was only in love with like the villainesses. Like I was, so I would go around the house and, mm-hmm sing Poor Unfortunate Souls in the Bathtub or like walk around in one of my mom's fur coats and pretend to have a cigarette and be Carol DeVille. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> over and over again. And so this is just really no different. And, mm. you know, this character is very, I brought a lot of myself into the character, you know, like kind of like gave them a kind of a Dominique Devereaux, kind of a very elegant, kind of fabulous, like intelligent, witty vibe, you know, coming in with the zingers and the one-liners. And so, you know, it's every time I jump in, I'm just, you know, I'm right back into being Michael. It's almost like no time has passed or like I, you know, it's like, it's just, it's just, um, you know, it's just, you know, you just drop right in. So it's, it's super easy and super fun for me. I love that. And how is it playing off like of this, you know, Michael and Penny just have this like frenemy circle. This like sometimes more enemies than friends, which is always a very fun (laughs) situation to be in. How do you like to like, you know, build up that energy or how does Michael feel about the rest of the friend circle? Well, I think I love about Michael is, you know, they definitely have like, you know, a lot of, you know, just like a great zippy zingers and, you know, and is always calling somebody out or coming for somebody <laughs> and getting somebody together because, you know, they have all the knowledge and all the fashion and all, you know, the glamour, but it's all out of love. And I think that that's definitely very reminiscent of, you know, any good, great friend group. Like, you know, you always have, you know, you're always poking each other and making fun of each other and calling each other out and, and you know, pushing each other to be greater and better. Um, but definitely very reminiscent of, you know, the kid that I was in high school. You know, I always was the sassy one and always like the queen of the pack. And, you know, um, well, definitely uh, Penny is the queen of this pack, but, you know. You can be, you can be the, 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 yeah, crown, the princess, crown princess, the crown princess. princess, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> um, but I, I love that, you know, that they're just always there, like, you know. <laughs> Sipping and, and calling each other out and making fun of each other, and uh, but also just like coming together at the end. Yeah. Now, speaking of you know your proclivity for Disney villainesses, I feel like the Proud Family is so uh, situated to cross over with the rest of the Disney universe as it has in the past, and as I would like to see in the future. Is there <laughs> any <laughs> is there any character or property that you would like to see the worlds merge and you be a part of? Um, I mean, all of, I mean, I, like I said, like, I'd love to be a, a villainous in one of these live action movies would be amazing. Um, or even one in a, you know, a Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, like all of it, you know, like, uh, I loved, you know, I've always been a huge fan of Disney, you know, growing up through the years and, you know, they have stuff for everybody. So for me, it's like, this would be a great cross, you know, it's going to be a great crossover for me to, you know, to get to play these parts. Um, but, you know, like I said, they have their their hands in everything. So listen, it's it's just it's just the right, you know, whatever right project will come at the right time. But I'm excited. <laughs> yes, we're ready for all of it. I'm ready now, for all of it. In the very first episode, Penny has to deal with her dad not wanting her to grow up. But Michael's also dealing with parental difficulties, too. And in terms of expressing 
their self? How can you talk about what it's like to portray that side of Michael? Because he's, you know, it's always so fun, right? Fun and glamorous, but then it's still pushback. Yeah, and I think that we get into that a little bit later uh, with the character. But, you know, I just remember that definitely for myself and my dad. You know, it's like, especially when, you know, I started to grow up and get more interested in fashion and, you know, expressing myself, you know, with clothing and he didn't really understand. And, you know, it was just like this kind of like weird back and forth moment where he's just like, well, you know, what is that? And I'm like, well, this is fashion, dad. Like, this is ball. Like, I know because <laughs> I read Vogue and I'm reading GQ and I know what's cute and this is what's cute. Yeah. So just trust me on that, you know? And especially, you know, once I moved to New York and really just got, you know, really immersed myself in the fashion world, like, you know, it at a certain point he was just like, you know what, I'm just going to let you do you. And I'm like, thank you, because that's what we were waiting for. Uh, oh, um, that's wonderful. And, you know, we have the best relationship now and he loves to, uh, you know, mm -hmm buy me beautiful things and take me shopping. And, you know, we just bond over all of, you know, over, you know, fashion and, and, and stuff like that. And especially my mom too, cause like, you know, oh. she always loved fashion. And now we go to fashion shows all over the world together and, you know, pick out stuff and, you know, that's our bonding time. So I, I love that. And I hope to see that for Michael in um, the future of the Proud Family. I'll have yeah. to tell the producers that. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. Thank have you. a great day. And I cannot wait to see more.